Hello, John here from War Jeepney, and we'll be playing a 70-point fun list game for Bushido. Uh, fun list because we just chose models that look cool. My opponent will be Christian, and he has uh, benched his sisters first because they're still in the painting table and waiting for the other components of his list. Right now, he'll be running uh, Itokinu, and Itokinu will be inducted into priesthood. She'll also have uh, Q. Q will have the teachings of... Uh, what do you call it? Yashushi. And uh, we have Ito Ayako and the Jade Mamba Guard with the Poison Blade. Over at my side, I will be using STS, the Silver Moon guys, and I'll have Malosi with the uh, Vial of Raijin's Breath. I'll have uh, Oda and his big Buto bodyguard that he is riding on. We also have Zo and Misao. For deployment, I chose this corner because. I didn't want this forest over there and I wanted to deny him the road but I gave him the house. So I have uh, the two Buto guys in front with my support guys at the back. Over here at his side he's got Q and the Jade Mamba, the melee fighters up front. And the two girls here at the back. And we will start now with our initiative. I believe he has tactician so we'll be rolling two dice for initiative. I have only one dice. I make a five, he makes a six, and who will go first, Christian? Uh, I'll let you go first. Okay, so I am going first. Okay, we are at the middle of the first turn, and my guys have moved forward. I have uh, Odo and his uh, Buto guard there. I have Misao over here. We have Zo over here at the middle, and Malosi is following behind by the road. He has moved. Q and the Jade Mamba guard to the uh, idol that is right beside him. Uh, Ayako ran over here to the side and he has moved Kino who is now exhausted uh, up behind these boxes. And now I will activate Oda and his guard and try to get into base contact with Itokino over there in the hopes to get her out, uh, take her out early in the game. So move six, I'm on the road, I make it, I get there, and we'll have a melee exchange. So for fear test, Itokino makes the fear test, and we now proceed to our exchange. So for the melee exchange, uh, he boosted four dice. Uh, Kino is exhausted, so he only has two dice now. I'm going all on attack, and we'll make our roll. I make a six, a seven, and I'm brutal, so I make an eight. He rolls only a four. The other one was a one. Yeah. Yeah, so four. So I have four in. Then I'll do my damage. Uh, damage weapon. I have a weapon strength plus two. So that is still a. I mean, that is a 12. So uh, Hino is pretty much dead. So he's now activating Ayako. And with her uh, increased key, uh, she's going to put death sentence on Oda. So post key test for my defense. I have two key. I roll a 7. I have and... willpower. Do I have willpower? I don't have willpower. Oh. Uh, well, you, it's a 5 and you're, you have no yeah. she's side by you. So, yeah. That's fair. So, I successfully defend. For my turn, I'll just move Molossi up the road, taking advantage of this road and moving 6 to about there. It's activating Q. And Q is running. Where? Where is he going? Down here. Face. Q runs there. Yep. To help out Ayako. Okay, turn two. We roll for initiative. I make a two. And he rolls a four. So yeah, he goes first. Christian activates Ayaka first and is casting Hypnotic Gaze on Oda, trying to stun him and remove uh, one of his activations. I will power two. I make a five and yep, I am stunned and I become tired. So for my turn, I'm activating Misao and I will try to use uh, Curse Fate uh, against Q over there. So it's an opposed key test. Uh, Q has a... Uh, Defense dice of two for his key. I will boost. And he is boosting. He is 
dice. So it's now has three dice. I only have two dice for that. Willpower one. So I have uh, seven total. Six, seven, eight, and he resists being cursed. And since it's my active turn, I will uh, spend uh, his key and make Zo trigger his tax aura. Maybe I should have used tax first, <laughs> but it's too late. I already did it. Five. Touching the road at four. So I have three more. Finally, getting that bodyguard into position and that's his activation so. so i'll activate malossi and see if i can engage that uh jade mamba guard over there i am fear four and he will have to make a test he is courage one so i'll move my figure over there and he'll have to make a fear test fear test at the one plus one zero plus one is just one so he's uh but I think he's steadfast. What does steadfast do? Is he steadfast? Yeah, steadfast. Yeah, so he can still allot his dice as he wants to. Ah, uh, okay. So steadfast, Jade Mamba Guard. So Jade Mamba Guard is unable to spend his key because we got uh, uh, Old Zo over there making attacks. I made a mistake. I should have uh, activated Crushing Blow first. However, I'm already in base contact, so I can't do that. So I'll just go with what I have. I'll go all in attack. 50-50. So I only make a uh, 5 total. He makes a 7, so even with my Brutal, I miss. No, this is a uh, defense, and this is an attack. Oh yeah, okay, so uh, again, I make a 5 for my attack. Uh, 6 because of Brutal, he has 6 for defense, and he has 5 as a counter-attack. So I am still attacking for zero, and I roll two dice, and I don't do any damage at all. And he strikes me for five damage base, plus his damage roll off. He has a sword plus one, I believe. Yeah, sword plus one. So that is a ten, so total of six damage, but I am tough. So I take five damage. He takes five damage. Good job, Big Ayako moving in for melee combat. To engage okay. Malosi in melee combat. Okay. Okay. So I am. I have a melee pull of three. Uh, I'm down to two because I am uh, ganged up over here. I spent uh, three key to increase my dice pool, and I'm going this way. Declaring combo attack, and my opponent is Declaring doing sidestep side defense, all on defense. So it's just my attack of nothing, and he makes his sidestep defense, so we're going to use sidestep two. Make you exhausted though. I'm exhausted, and just moves out. So sets up Molossi for probably an attack made by Q over there, so I have to do something. So I'm, I've decided to wait to see what he does. I'm activating Zo, but in order he so that he would have more defense, uh, I'll use his idolized feet and make Malosi idolize him while Zo prays to this idol, making it face my direction. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so Q is engaging me on melee so let's go ahead and allot our dice okay so i just go all on defense for malossi so he's going two on attack one on defense for my defense i make a three first attack he makes a seven so that is four in four in plus two d6 yeah two d6 minus one uh, eight. That's an eight, so it's just four in. Flat. Yeah, four in. Uh, however, I get his, I believe, poison two. Poison two. So four in to Malossi. And he's down to one. Oh, wait, he's tough, so he only takes three. Poison two. However, I am poison two. A while ago, I was poisoned, but he's tough, so shrugs it. But now he is. Let's put their poison two. So Ed, Oda, and his, uh, Oda and his big boy will need to help out, so... Uh, with the use of the road, six inch move will bring me about there. I cannot be surprised. Not surprised. 
He does have reach though. Uh, Kyo has reach. Kyo has reach, so Kyo will be striking first. And let's see what happens. I forgot to do a fear test a while ago, but let's do the fear test now. The one caused by the Buto of Oda. So fear test and he passes. Okay, so I just go one attack, one defense. He does the same. Let's see what happens. Uh, he strikes first, so his strike of three. Uh, I have a defense of two, so I'll be taking one. Uh, one damage plus 2d6. 2d6 minus one. 2d6 minus 1, that one is an damage. 8, so 1 damage, I'm tough, so I don't one take anything. Poison. You have a uh, defense of 2, no, uh, no poison if there's no damage. Oh. Okay, so your defense of 2 with my attack of 5, so I am 3 in, mm -hmm. uh, weapon plus 2, so I make an 11, so total of 5 in. I deal 5, and I believe he only has 5 life, so I have saved Malosi from the guy with the snake. And he is now out of activations. Uh, Misal will just try to move up over here. And Zo will try to move over to this other idol. And that is where they are right now. And it's the end of turn two. I have two idols facing my direction, so I score a victory point for round two. So he has lost his tactician because that was with Q. I roll a three, he makes a four, he goes first. And let's see what he does. So for his first activation, he activates Ayako, who is very brave, been engaging big guys, so he moves around and yes. engages Malosi. So he sticks by his decision to make a uh, well-dressed girl <laughs> fight a naked, tattooed man. And we will have a melee exchange. So no case spent, he goes all on defense, I go all on defense. Uh, no need to roll. No need to roll anything, so... Uh, I will succeed my sidestep defense. Yeah, he will succeed in his sidestep defense, and Exit. where is he sidestepping to? Outside the zone of control. Okay, so outside the zone of control. Are you... However you might uh, get into... I oh, know, you may ignore the zone, just not base, into, not, just not base to base. So uh, there. I will, I will uh, stay away from the zone of control. Okay, alright. So sidesteps all the way there. So we read the rules on that. You may uh, move the model as long as it's out of the zone of control. Nothing about being base to base. So sidestep out of the zone of control and still in base to base to achieve that uh, ganging up uh, bonus. So I moved Oda and Tautolu here to strike the Jade Mamba Guard. So not spending anything. Uh, you just have two dice though, because you are ganged up. I'll be running with my three dice. I have used my key to inspire uh, Malosi uh, over there. I'll just go all aggressive, all on attack. And he has two dice for defense. Oh, that's not so nice. No, that's seven. That's seven. Brutal eight. He makes a five, so I have three in. I have weapon plus two, but Jade Mamba Guard has armor two, so dice roll as is. Yeah, Jade Mamba Guard has armor two. Uh, so just that three damage to the Jade Mamba Guard. So he's activating Ayako, a girl again beating up the big guy. One defense. So my defense will be only a three, and he deals two damage. I hope you mess up your damage roll. 2d6. <laughs> It's two in. <laughs> minus one. Minus one. I know. So two one. in. I need a minus one result. And that is a minus one result. I survive because I am tough. So minus one, tough, reduces it by one. So I shrug it off. I forgot that I was actually inspired there. So I should have rolled three dice. But it's okay. He survived. Okay, so... Tautolu will spank again the Jade Mamba Guard. Let's see what happens. One defense to attack. He has two defense and one on attack. So I am attacking first. I have an attack total of six. He's made a five, so I have one in. One in, uh, weapon strength plus two, armor two. So it's just a flat roll. I make a ten, so that is two in. Total of two in, and that kills the Jade Mamba Guard because she only has two life left. 
So he's out of activations. I will just uh, activate him and run all the way to this idol over here. Then I will spend an action to turn it that way. And let's see if an old lady can fight a lady. So I'll activate her. Uh, surprise gang up, gang up on Ayako. And we will have a melee exchange. Okay, so Ayako is surprised, ganged up, and exhausted. So uh, to get the one dice, he needs uh, plus two. So that gives me plus two dice. So I'm rolling three dice versus his one dice. And what has he? Sidestep defense. Sidestep defense. And Misao is just gonna slap her up. I only make a five. So I do one damage. One damage. One damage, but my weapon is minus two. So just one damage. So slap you for one. So with Ayako left and being slapped by both a big tattooed guy and a uh, old lady, uh, the game is called. And uh, I think the road played to my advantage, although we had some rules mistakes. We were forgetting to do the fear check and the fear uh, if you're afraid. Uh, you should have a penalty also to your dice. But anyway, uh, that's the game.